Oh, hello. Welcome to another Today is Decay, July 18th edition. I'm really late. I was gonna do this from a hot tub, but we just never really got there, and then I came home. So here I am. I thought it'd be really nice. I mean, I had a really good day. Both Louie and I had a really good day, but uh, hot tub never happened, so here we are, back at home. Uh, on this day in 1871, I'm gonna pronounce his name wrong, just telling you right now. Uh, Giacomo Bella? There's probably another way of saying it. Such as life was born on this day, 1871. Um, futurist painter, fantastic stuff. Tons of his work is at the Museum of Modern Art here in New York when the world was still open. This was one of my favorite places in the entire city to go. Uh, surrealism's fun, but futurism somehow draws you in and doesn't let you go. And Giacomo Mala somehow um, cream of the crop. All about it. Also on this day, <clears throat> 1907, Lupe Velez was born. Mexican fireball, Mexican spitfire. One of those two terms for like her nickname. She is awesome. Um, she starred with or opposite um, Lon Chaney Sr. and James Murray in Where East is East. Um, this is 27-ish, so right on, on the heels of James Murray's uh, triumph with the crowd, King Vidor's The Crowd, and Lon Chaney Sr. being the, you know, force of nature that he was, and Lupe Velez stole the show. Outright, no question about it. You can't take your eyes off of her. She's fantastic. Everybody else in the movie is supported characters for Lupe, Lupe Velez. Uh, there's a write-up of her in Hollywood Babylon, Kenneth Anger's Hollywood Babylon. But I really like her, and it's a sad story, so I'm just going to say it's not true. Probably not true, because he wrote it, and he just kind of liked to hear the sound of his own voice. Um, there may have been some truth in what he was saying throughout the book, I, I, I don't know if uh, her demise was as tragic as he wrote it or not. Um, also in this day, 1921, America's astronaut John Glenn was born. Uh, a huge proponent of science and rational thought. And we could use that today and every day, previously, in the future, you name it. Backwards, forwards, and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, number one on this day, Screaming Jay Hawkins, born in 1929. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a Screaming Jay Hawkins type of day for me. Has it been for you? Um, maybe you have, and maybe you haven't seen uh, the documentary called um, I think it's called "I Put a Spell on Me," I think. And if you haven't seen it, I'm just gonna say. Make with the watching. Maybe that's maybe that's your evening. I know we've, I cut it short. I cut it short today. I'm being able to cut it to do a video today. But um, some of the highlights, and not all the highlights, because watch this movie. God damn it. Um, so he had a threesome set up with him and his wife, and some random other lady. And eventually, oh no, I haven't seen this in so long, I don't want to screw it up. Um, I think the story was the threesome thing was getting sour or old, and so it wound up just being him and like the other lady, and then his wife came home and caught them doing stuff without her involved, so she shot him, and then he was on the floor, like, you know, bleeding, and she took with a knife went to go like saw him in half and he wound up getting up and like holding himself together and like dragged himself down the street chasing after her um you know that's like one story of a 90 minute movie or whatever it was and what did that take 30 seconds so you have 89 minutes and 30 seconds worth of other really exciting content to hear about all about screaming jay hawkins do it is the best. And on this day in 1986, 
the film Aliens premiered. Aliens with an S. Don't leave off the last S for Aliens. Who gets that joke? Only New Yorkers. Uh, right. So meanwhile, tune in tomorrow for more exciting Today's Decays. What's, what's next? You'll find out soon, won't you? Goodbye.